So we wanted to test about how blockchain could help improve supply chain traceability. And, and so we piloted a project in, in the Pacific, in Fiji, where we'd worked with a company called Sequest, a, a tuna fishing company, uh, to see if we could attach uh, the tuna coming on, across on, uh, onto a boat uh, using an RFID tag, a radio frequency ID tag, and to follow that, attach that to a blockchain and follow that through the whole system. And so having a distributed ledger there and being able to produce a digital twin, which is immutable, so you can't have uh, two tuners the same attached to a thing, really would improve uh, illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing practices. But we also wanted to test, could it help uh, reduce or uh, remove slave labor or human rights abuses as well. Um, and so that was part of our pilot in 2017 uh, to see if it would really work. First of all, we've been able to prove that you can attach a, a tuna as it comes on board a boat uh, using an RFID, a radio frequency device, and then to follow it along the supply chain. Originally, we tested this from the boat through to uh, it being transported uh, overseas from Fiji. But the second phase then looked at how we followed through the rest of the supply chain until uh, it is served up. And so we were able at a conference in April this year to have uh, sashimi tuna served to the conference with a little QR code, which uh, the participants of the conference could follow exactly back down the blockchain as to where their, their tuna came from. Um, so there's been some there's been some success in doing but I think the learnings of that have been really important for us because um, the blockchain piece is uh, one part of the solution but being able to attach information to that blockchain has been uh, quite tricky so you're on a boat in the middle of the Pacific the boat is all steel it's covered in salt water uh, using technology in that environment is actually not easy and so working through solutions that work with fishermen in very remote locations was part of the, the validation sprint to prove that it could be done. And so there's a lot of learning that went on there that we're able to, to build on thinking about how we would be able to take something like this to scale.